morning today i want to talk about something a little more technical but something that has come up a lot and brings a lot of confusion to many people and i want to bring some light into the dark and clear up the confusion and explain why stats are how they are or not exactly why they are but how they are <laughs> because there is some stuff I want to talk about but first of all we're going through the basics and then I want to talk about two very very big important topics the display modifier and the um, stat budget but first of all let's take a look at the stats themselves we have health which increases your health obviously this is very straightforward we have resilience which increases your break bar so at the bottom left you can of my health there's a yellow bar which is resilience when the resilience is down we are guard broken a lot of stuff can stagger us interrupt us and we take more damage overall then we have weapon power increases the damage of our weapons we have ability power increases the damage of our abilities both of these do work for weapon abilities all of the have right you can see eye of judgment thrown thorn blossom so go so forth, think. whatever you have here with the Draken more, it's like a triple combo hit. Show just a second. Build up our mobile. We have it full, we can unleash strikes. Which all deal a lot. But then we have more crit rating which increases the chance of dealing a critical strike and we have crit power now crits work a little different um, compared to other games because first of all you have crit rating whenever a hit or dot or whatever um, critically strikes we are adding 50 percent damage to that hit so when you're hitting for 600 and you are critting you are hitting for 900 however your crit power is directly added on top of either weapon power or ability power depending on which one is used for the attack so for attacks we use weapon power plus crit power for abilities we use ability power plus crit power and for weapon abilities we're using half weapon power plus half ability power plus crit power then we have break power break Power increases our break damage, so we can guard break enemies, take down their resilience, but break damage does not increase our damage directly. Then we have physical defense, which um, just increases like our physical defense, obviously, and the numbers shown here are fairly accurate when you are fighting enemies on your exact power level. Um, when the enemy is at a higher power level, they de will deal more damage to you because your mitigation is not as useful against higher tier enemies. Um, same for mag defense, obviously. But let's talk about the big elephant in the budget multiplier and display. So the display multiplier is the thing that confuses most people because this is not explained in game. Which is kind of sad because it's well a very confusing topic topic because all damage and defense modifier who have a display modifier of now when we take a look at for example kairos kairos has an ability or talent that says for each time you pick up an innovation orb gain a damage shield equal to 10 percent magical defense now one would think okay i have two 2666 max health and 29,000 mag defense. So, whenever I pick up an innovation orb, which is whenever I kill an enemy, whenever I use a skill, I gain a 3k damage shield. That's pretty damn good. No. You are gaining a tenth of that because the display modifier um, well, multiplies our mag defense by 10, which gets removed from all calculations. So, the magic damage shield actually is 10% of 10%, so it's 1% of the shown value. 
And this is what a lot of people get confused with because it just doesn't show in game. So when you expect a 3k damage shield, but I'm using an ability, I'm like, wait, down here, that's not 3k, that's barely 200. And that is because, well, whenever we are using an ability, we gain 7% of magical defense. So at 30k displayed magical defense, we are gaining a 200 shield, which still is good. It's um, 10% of our life, pretty much, slightly less. Um, for every ability used, that's good. That's a 10% heal, like 10% like um, proactive heal, <laughs> they say, um, which is good, but it's not like as insane as it seems. And this is where a lot of people get confused. So this is extremely important. Because, as I said, weapon power, ability power, mech defense, first defense, all of these have a display multiplier of 10. So whenever you are looking at stats and be like, okay, how do I calculate this? How do I work with this? Always have to divide by 10 for the actual value of what you are getting. Then we have the budget multiplier, which is fairly interesting too. Because the budget multiplier... Um, increases how good the stats actually are. But when we take a look at an accessory, for example, um, we actually have one with health here. Good example. Good health here. Health. Uh, Myth of the Schism has 600 weapon power, 600 crit rating, and 420 health. Now, all of these stats um, are affected by the display multiplier and the budget multiplier. So when we now take a calculator and see, okay, we have 630 divided by 10, because that's the display multiplier. And then we have the budget multiplier, which for weapon power is 1.125. So we have a point five. We have a base value of 55, which is the value for the stat. And then when we take the health, 420, we see, okay, the budget multiplier is 7.5. So actually we have to... Um, what did I say? 400. We have to multiply by 0. It's 105. So the actual value for max health on this item is way higher than weapon power and crit rating but it is shown slightly different. So this can be very, very confusing. And I'm sorry if I did the math wrong here. I just, over my head. But the idea is that um, you have to look at stats a little different because when a piece says 400 life and 600 weapon power, it actually is a very, very strong health piece. Well, a decent damage piece. Also for crit rating, um, okay, okay, crit rating is the same, but crit power has a lower multiplier. So, that's pretty much the first thing I want to talk about because budget multiplier and display multiplier are extremely important topic that has to be talked about. And then another thing I want to talk a bit about damage calculation, just to inform of how damage actually works. Um, we won't go into like full detail here and this is a rough estimation, but just to give an idea of how these stats work. Because for damage, we have the damage calculation stat divided by the display multiplier. And the stat can be weapon power, ability power, break damage, and then other stuff on top like crit power and everything like that. You also can take a look at your end so everything, stuff like that. Little <laughs> more visible list here. 
then we've got the attack modifier which um every attack or every spell has for example the dragon more we have here has a weapon ability damage of 1.25 it seems <laughs> from my testing um and from the the patch notes they so so let us begin when we have this weapon the weapon ability <laughs> This ability but all of the like it's a triple combo and they are a bit different but it's just for the idea of how tech modifier for everything is different so for example if you have a dot or a multi-hitting stuff like venom's projectiles obviously those have a lower attack modifier because they just hit multiple times or are just not made for dealing damage or stuff like that so um this is different from attack or spell to spell then we have the combo bonus and the critical hit bonus which is interesting because when we are hitting enemies we can get a combo bonus with uh, most weapons of 200 percent with daggers up to 300 which means that combo bonus um is added with critical bonus which is a 50 percent multiplier so um critical strikes do not give 50 percent to your total damage but 50% in addition to critic uh, to combo damage, which is very interesting, because for example ranged weapons are not able to generate a combo bonus, so that makes critical strikes on ranged weapons a lot um, stronger than on other weapon types, because the 50% value of bonus damage um, strikes a lot harder there, because we cannot have a combo, um, which are possible on other weapons. Which then take value away from crit. So on ranged weapons, crit is a lot stronger than on melee weapons. And then we have other multipliers, which is enemy-based multipliers like resilience. When an enemy has resilience, it takes um, 0.05% damage, which means like well 25% reduced damage. And if that broken, then they take. 33% more damage, which equals out to just base damage. So an example here would be with 10,000 weapon power and 6,000 ability power. Added on top there is 2,500 crit power. Then we take all of these stats together, which would be half weapon power and half ability power, which together is 8,000. Then we put on top 2,500 crit power, which would be 10,500. Then we divide that by 10, which is 1.5 thousand and that is the value we actually work with and we multiply that with the base damage of the attack or spell we are using which we do not have in games just for explanation of how these sets work then we um, multiply it by the combo bonus plus the crit bonus actually for the math nerds brackets around that and actually and then with the guard of the enemy and this way we would get to about 4.1k which is not exactly accurate with what i had in game here because i did use slightly different numbers just to have easier math here but this generally is the idea of stats i know this is very convoluted and i hope i could Get you closer to an understanding of how the stats work but we i talked 14 minutes now and i don't think talking more about this right now will help people understand it further so if you have any specific questions feel free to drop them down in the comment and well ask anything you want and i answer everything so thanks for watching and see the next one